Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on today's video. I'm just doing a really quick video today. Uh, we've been out this evening to Belton House, which is a little way away from where we are, but we went, they do um, like a big Christmas light walk through their gardens, uh, and that's where we've been this evening. So I'm just doing some journaling about that. And I've printed this image off that I took of the house with some of the lights, the, these sort of giant candlesticks in front of it. I thought it was a really nice picture. Mm -hmm. And I've done my journaling on the actual photo itself, just to make life a bit easier. I've done it in white font, um, and I think it looks really effective. So I'm just sewing around it. I was going to use some photo corners, but I didn't know. Well, I liked the way they looked, but I didn't actually have four that were the same. Uh, they've got slightly different maybe You can see them on the bottom left of the screen there, but they didn't have four of the same pattern. So I've just sewn around the edge instead, and you can see that it gives it a nice, neat look. Um, I'm just going to stick that down the left hand side page there. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. I uh, hope you've had a nice weekend. Have you got to anything Christmassy this weekend? We had our tree yesterday um, and we've been to Belton House today which was nice. It was really cold. There was snow on the ground still uh, which was nice and when we got back to the cars the handles were frozen solid. <laughs> it was brilliant. Um, it's nice to be home now though in the warm. So my number is going to go across some of the writing today and I did this and I had a look at it and I toyed with the idea of changing up the font, making the box smaller so it's more centred to leave space but because my numbers are quite chunky um, I just I didn't want to sacrifice the way it looks. Like I like the, the text from left to right. I didn't want to put the text at the top because I toyed with that as well. So I've just I set the number over the writing and it reads fine, like I know what it says, so, and it covers up, it doesn't cover up any whole words, so I can still see what the words are underneath, uh, and this doesn't bother me a great deal, um, I would prefer that it didn't cover the text, but I'm okay with it. Now I've got this die set, and I have no idea where this die set's from, I know it's from Seven Hills Crafts in the UK, and it kind of builds up these little lights, so... I'm sticking the bases down, so I've just cut these from just some regular white paper. Um, my sister actually has some sort of clear acetate, but they're coloured acetate pieces. I've no idea what they're from or what they're for. Um, but I'm going to use those to cut the top piece out of. When I see her next, I'll get those from her and then I can complete this little string of lights. And I just wanted to add this at the top because Belton House was just full of lights. That's what it was. So... Um, it was just rather fitting and I'll add the little gold bits at the top and because they've got little loops I shall thread some string through them and I was going to use some like baker's twine some red and white one But because I'm going to use different colors for the actual lights eventually I wanted to keep the string quite neutral So you can see the image that I've printed out as well is also on photo paper today. Um, I've been printing most of my images just with regular cardstock because that works perfectly fine for my journaling. Um, and the photo paper I've got, I don't think it's very good quality. Like if you've got any slight little bit of anything on your finger, so glue or something, it really sticks to the image and it takes the ink off. So I think that's probably due to the quality of the paper, it's not the greatest. But there are a few key images in my journal that I will print on um, photo paper. I have an image a bit later on in the journal which you'll see when we get to that point, uh, which is on photo paper. And I've actually reprinted the little flip out that I did in yesterday's spread, the Christmas tree on that, um, that flip out. I don't love the way it looks um, because the image just, just looks a bit washed out, it's not as vibrant as it could be. So I've actually reprinted that onto some photo paper as well and I'll just stick it over that tree as well. And I was talking with the idea of whether to glue the string down, glue these uh, little gold bits down, but I think it's pretty secure for what it is, just being in my journal. 
it's fine I think just to be left loose I might stick it down later but for now I'm not gonna worry about it so I've got my photos from today I'll cut them out this photo my son and I did some journaling together this morning he's got his Christmas book that he made last year so he was decorating it and he did me this ho 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 label he actually did one of these for his book and I said to him oh do me one of those and he literally did ho 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 as many times as he physically could on a label <laughs> but I love it so I thought I'd stick it on this image so you can see there I've reprinted the Christmas tree this photo of me and the kids this is in the light tunnel that we went through at Belton I did that on photo paper because I wanted that to be a key image as well which I'm going to stick on the front of the tickets that I printed out and I'm going to I was really struggling with what to do with the photos in this uh, spread really struggling and in fact I've added them in but I'm not entirely confident with them I'll probably come back to this spread so when I've got those little acetate pieces from my sister and I come back to do the lights I'll probably do something else with these photos I find that sometimes I think because it's been a long day it's been a late night it's getting quite late now I feel like I'm not in the mood to be creative so as much as I had an idea of what I wanted to do like with the photo on the left hand side and the font and what have you I'm more than happy with that but these sort of the smaller things of these photos are just really bothering me I'm not sure how to add them in so if anyone has any suggestions I'll be more than more than happy to hear them but for now originally so I was going to stick them on these tickets but I didn't want to just have like a little booklet of images I just find that's I don't know it's just it's not sitting right with me so I was going to clip them here and have them at, like so you can flip them up but yeah I just I wasn't loving it at all so I have an envelope I have a red envelope that I used uh, that was left over from my son's uh, letter to Santa and uh, I pulled that out and I've just put all the images into that envelope when I look I've, I've pulled out this sort of ledger sticker that I have I pulled out some doilies I pulled out I mean I might even just create like a big sort of just smaller than a5 size journaling card and stick them onto the journaling card um, and then put some little labels with them but for tonight I think I'm just not in the right headspace to do it to really concentrate it and I don't want to just do something for the sake of it I rather so this is the envelope that I was saying I'd rather do it later than do it now and not be I have to be a hundred percent happy with what I do and how my spreads come together and I just it just it will weigh on me <laughs> if I'm not 100% happy with it so yeah I was gonna see this image on the front here this is Belton house and I thought I may I'll showcase that somehow but for now they're all just going in that envelope and I will as I say come back to them so for the sake of getting this video out and doing today's spread for the most part that is it done um, to be continued maybe <laughs> probably a good way to put it to be continued but otherwise with what i've done and i've kind of cemented in place i'm happy with so i will see you tomorrow if you haven't hit subscribe please do um and i'll see you then bye for now